there's obviously always going to be issues because we are competitors and it means we all need to give something up. We basically all need to give up a part of our own brand to create another brand that's bigger than all of us. And that is really scary and it's hard and we need to be vulnerable when we're doing it. But ultimately, it's created something bigger than ourselves and it's benefited our company and all of our companies together, which is really exciting. Welcome to SheEO.World, a podcast about redesigning the world. I'm your host, Vicki Saunders. In each episode, you'll hear from SheEO Venture founders, women who are working on the world's to-do list. These innovative business leaders are solving some of the major challenges of our times. Please sit back and be prepared to be inspired. Welcome. I'm so excited that you are joining us today. I am absolutely thrilled to have Chia sisters with us, and we're going to talk about a really unique approach they took to tackling the challenge of getting your beverages into stores that are kind of already taken over by the big boys. Can you tell us a little bit about the challenge that you were here to solve? Yeah, absolutely. We are in the beverage industry, which is very difficult because there's two major players in the world, Pepsi and Coca-Cola, and they own fridges. And when they own those fridges, it means that your products aren't allowed in them. And they're quite expensive and they take a long time to negotiate different deals and contracts on. And so you're both based in New Zealand. New Zealand is so well known for sustainability and local production. And so it's still a big challenge in New Zealand as as well as any other place. Yeah, absolutely. We bottle by solar power and we're zero carbon. We pay our staff a living wage. So we really are trying to do things differently. And even customers that recognize that, often they're still locked into these big agreements because the agreements might last two or three years and just the cost of buying these fridges is not something that a small business can afford. So what is a business like yours to do when you want to scale and you've got an amazing product? How did you look at this problem? What did you do about it? Well, to start with, we would go to cafes and we'd try and get in the door and we were just blocked every single time, not just cafes, but hospitals, uh, supermarkets, universities, all of the big players. And so We realized that our offering alone wasn't enough. We needed to join forces with everyone else that was experiencing the same thing and unite together. So we formed a collaboration with three other New Zealand-owned and made beverage companies that all had similar values. And in that way, we could share our resources, we could share our channels, we could buy a fridge together, we could get reps on board to look after us all. And I think the beauty of it was that we realized that while traditionally people may consider us to be competitors, by working together, we could increase all of our sales and also have a fun time too, because these are great people in the same industry as us trying to do similar things. I think this is absolutely brilliant. As soon as I heard you were doing this, I thought this is going to happen all over the world. Small businesses unite and outperform what you could do alone. So this whole concept that we have at CEO all the time, you have all that you need come together. And so how is it going? Yeah, it's going really well. We um, started off by contacting people that we already felt like we had similar values with and wanted to work with. And we all just sat down for a beer and (laughs) worked it out. There's obviously always going to be issues because we are competitors and it means we all need to give something up. We basically all need to give up a part of our own brand to create another brand that's bigger than all of us. And that is really scary and it's hard and we need to be vulnerable when we're doing it. But ultimately, it's created something bigger than ourselves and it's benefited our company and all of our companies together, which is really exciting. So what was the reception at like local businesses or where did you start? What was the first place you went with this idea? We started in Auckland. So we've hired a sales rep up there. And as Chloe mentioned, that cost is shared between all of our businesses as are you know, all of the other resources like his car and um, any other costs involved with it. And we've been approaching local cafes in Auckland. We now have 16 fridges up there, which is really exciting. So it's still early days, but there's lots to come. That's just amazing. 16 fridges. All right, cool. So what happens when you go to one of these stores and the salesperson is selling this? Do I would imagine businesses are really receptive to this. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, we can go in and say, 
these are New Zealand owned and made produced yeah, drinks. They are high quality. They have these sustainable views. They taste better. They're often even price competitive. So why wouldn't you? And what does your brand stand for? And how do the products you choose or the suppliers you identify with reflect in yourself and what you're doing? That's so great. And have you had other local producers who weren't part of the original group come to you and say, can we join in too? Yeah, we have a lot of people coming to us. We're still in the early days. So at the moment, we're ensuring that we have everything set up and functioning well so that when we choose to bring on more people, which we will, that we can guarantee success for them. Well, I just continue to be so impressed. And we all love you so much in the CEO community with your leadership on like really uh, showing us new models and new ways of doing business for the new world that we're in. I bet you this is going to be called something when small businesses come together in these new collaborations. I think we need a new word for it. So I don't know if you've thought one up, but I think it's probably emerging. So thanks so much. If you think of a good word for it, let us know. I'll let you know. Yeah, I'm, I love the branding stuff. So <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for all that you're doing. Really excited and we'll, uh, we're cheering you on from all over. Thank you. Thanks so much, Vicky. Thank you for listening to the CEO.world podcast. If this conversation resonated with you, please share it with a friend and subscribe on your favorite podcast player. If you'd like more information about SHEEO, please visit us at SHEEO.world. That's S-H-E-E-O dot world.